Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. I can't quite believe we're talking about what seeds are going to be sown in September already. This year has absolutely flown by. Not to worry though, there's still plenty of time left to get things growing. There's loads of time left. It's still it's still relatively warm here, which is a bit strange. You know, we're still up in the in the high teens, up in the twenties at the at the weekend there forecast. So it's looking good. We're starting to lose daylight, you know, the days are getting a bit shorter, which is a bit of a bit of a pain for growing things, but not to worry, we can still still get things on the go. So where should we start? Some of our favourites for over the winter, and I mentioned a couple of these last month as well. And this is about the your sort of leafy greens, and these two here, the winter imperial and the all year round lettuce, and that's all about succession sowing. We did some last month, let's keep going, get some more sown this month and keep that going. Following on from that, which is rocket, we're gonna get some rocket done. I did some of this earlier in the year and it got a bit too warm and it bolted and went to seed dead quick, but now's just about the right sort of time to get rocket on the go and it should thrive in this kind of weather. Herbs, there's some good herbs you can get on the go actually over the over the colder months as we're sort of moving into the autumn sort of time. And I've got three different ones here. The first one up is parsley, and then we've got some chives. I'm a big fan of chives. I like using chives in salads and in all sorts of stuff. Some lovely sort of onion flavour. And last but not least is dill. And dill's actually a really good one to grow. If you if you're pickling lots of things that you've grown over the summer, if you've got like cucumbers, gherkins, beetroot, that sort of stuff. Dill is a really nice herb to grow and put in the pickle. It gives it a lovely, lovely flavour. Next up, a couple of other ones here, some, uh, some brassicas. First one up is calabrese, otherwise known as broccoli. And this is a variety called stromboli, which is supposed to grow in about 60 days or thereabouts, so pretty quick grown for this time of year. It doesn't grow in like a nice big tree-like head like you see on normal broccoli. It's a bit, a little bit different, a little bit more like sprouting broccoli sort of size but a good quick cropping broccoli to get on the go at this time of year. And we're gonna put some kale in. A little bit of a gamble if I could get the plants grown to a reasonable size and, and pretty strong before putting them out, it should survive really, really well all the way through the cold weather. Bit of a gamble, nothing much to lose if it dies off through the cold or something like that. We'll use it as microgreens or something. So it'll still get used, not to worry, not to worry. Um, some Japanese radish, and this one's called Muli. A lot of the, the sort of Japanese-themed crops do well at this time of year, into the colder months, and the, the radish is no, no different to that. This one will do really, really well. And last but not least, on the seed front, we've got some spring onions. Yep, there's still plenty of time to get some spring onions on the go. This is a red variety here called North Holland Blood Red, so we'll be getting some of those on the go. We'll maybe use put some in the polytunnel as well. I'll probably put some outside and some in the polytunnel just so they've got a bit of protection over them. Now you might notice I've got some plug plants over here and I mentioned in last month's video that I felt as if I've been behind on everything this year and there's no shame in buying plug plants and things like that to catch up. So we have got some here and there's two different ones. One is Calbrice, so a nice normal sort of green-headed broccoli like I mentioned before, the, the tree-headed one. And the other one here is purple sprouting broccoli. Now, we're still doing some seed. I'm a bit behind and they take a while to catch up. So we've got these nice, healthy looking plants here from the garden centre. They're not quite the size that I would like them to be to go out. I'd like them to be a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pot these on into bigger pots, some nice fresh compost for them. During the day, they're gonna go out there in the little greenhouse. And at night, I'm gonna bring them inside and they're gonna sit under the grow light so they get extra time and get really big, really quick, ready to go out when I'm that little bit behind on things. And last but not least, one thing I've ordered this month, but I don't have it to show you because it doesn't get dispatched probably till the end of September, start of October before it's here. And that is my garlic. So I've ordered a whole load of garlic and I'll put links down below to everything that, that I've ordered that you can see the different varieties. So we've gone for a, a bit of a mix this year, some soft neck, some hard neck, lots of different ones going to increase the space that I've given to garlic this year as well. So we're going to grow more and you need to get that in so it gets that sustained cold frosty weather over it throughout the winter. But we'll do some more on garlic and things like that later on. I also ordered some fancy looking shallots as well to go out some some French type shallots. I don't remember the name exactly. They're apparently a real delicacy. 
So we're going to give them bash and get them grown. So again, they'll come along with the garlic and we'll get them all planted out at around about the same time. Anyway, that's me done for this one, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please think about subscribing. It's absolutely free. Just click the red button down below. If you like this video in particular, please give us a thumbs up and leave us some comments down below. Let us know what you're sewing and growing at this time of year. Always keen to hear what everybody else is up to. Righty-ho, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.